Good afternoon. Happy summer. I hope you all enjoy the wonderful summer and uh, recharge yourself. And today, I would like to update some information very exciting called the NIX. And NIX stands for NICS, non invasive chromosome screen test. We are familiar with this picture embryo biopsy for pre implantation genetic diagnosis, pre implantation genetic screen, or now called pre implantation chromosome screen test. For A means for aneuploid test, meaning check the number of the chromosomes, carry normal number of chromosomes, or carry abnormal chromosomes. For last five to ten years, pre-implantation chromosome screen test become a very important part of IVF in helping doctor to select the right embryo for transfer. Look at this picture. Don't worry about the PGS. The name changes so often. The idea is to check the chromosome number. If you do a chromosome check number, and 42 years old versus 35 years old, no difference in pregnancy around 60%. Without genetic screen test, the results getting low with increased age because we are screening out all the embryo with abnormal of chromosome. As I show here, you can only get this normal chromosome. However, for a long time, as you can see from this picture, first step, we have to torch the embryo in so-called embryo biopsy first. Take a few cells from the surface. That's called a TE biopsy. We take the cell from the surface of the embryos. Even though we claim, we all tell our patients, you will not damage the embryos. However, to a certain extent, it may compromise embryo quality. A recent study in show in this article, just published, that if we transfer the embryo, which had trophobectin cell biopsy, meaning the genetic biopsy of these embryos, uh, meaning we did a genetic embryo biopsy for the genetic screen test, this kind of embryo increase the risk of for the mom have a high blood pressure, and a kidney problem called eclampsia or preeclampsia. So this just give you a small example that uh, embryo biopsy, which is the first step for the genetic testing, can damage the embryos, and this kind of embryo can cause complication in mom. So the good news is we don't have to do biopsy anymore. No biopsy. No biopsy. A new technology allow us to platin the DNA fragments from the torch medium surrounding this embryo instead of doing this biopsy. And this technique is called NIX. And then technique can give you the result more sensitive, more thorough than embryo biopsy results. Basically, the process is we get the egg, fertilize the egg, give it C, then coach for five days, then we collect the medium from the coached embryo, then we do the genetic, take the DNA fragment, do the genetic screen test to get the same result through this machine, same as the embryo biopsy. So the results are actually more informative and more informative in interpreting, assess the so-called mosaicity. Because with the traditional method, you only 
take a few cells from the embryo. That's the video there. So they may not necessarily represent the well-being of the whole embryo and the whole cell population. But with mix, we collecting the fragments from DNA fragments from all of the cells. So the results is more informed, more comprehensive. So this is a new technology and new hope facility center and is uh, starting to offer in this technology in East Coast. If you, you want to know more information, you can call and email us and we will get back to you and give you more information about the work. Take care. We will be in the same program next time. Bye-bye.